Hello, and welcome back. Now, do you remember this chest? Yeah, it's the same one in in that bedroom. And there we go. Now, I think I have a letter for this person. Um, no, I do not. Okay. So, I'll see you... I'll see you at... I'll see you back at home. After this. I swear there's a star piece here. There we go. Hey, hey Merle, there's a star piece out here. I got it for you. Okay. Now I'll see you, now I'll see you back at home. And we're back. Let's see what else is here. Huh. Luigi doesn't seem to be home. Hey Luigi, I'm home. Oh. What are you reading there? Hey, I'm talking to you. Hi Mario. Are you doing okay? Don't worry, bro. I'll watch the heads until you get back. Oh, he just says the same thing. But yeah, well. Take that. Oh, there's two more pages. A shy guy appeared on my house the other day. I found him asleep in my bed. Can you believe it? Knowing you, Luigi, yes. I ran after him, but he was way too fast for me. I heard that a lot of Shy Guys also appeared in Toe Town. Supposedly they came from Shy Guys Toy Box. It must be somewhere in town. Toy Box. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe they have a Nintendo 64. The whole Goomba visited... The whole Goomba family visited me today. They said that Goombario is in the care of my brother. Then they gave me a souvenir. It was a Goomba, a special treat from Goomba Village. It looks so yummy, I ate it without telling my brother. My FP increased by three. You think I'll notice? Wow, going behind your brother's back, Luigi. I mean, you already got a year after you. What more do you want? Let's see what else we have. Hey! To Mario. Are you and Goombario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Goombario, by the way. No, really? Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Goombario being a hero, or is he just goofing off? Goofing off. You know, I sometimes go shopping in Toad Town with Mom. Maybe we'll see you there. I'd really like to hear some of your exciting stories. I can't wait. Really? You can be at a Bowser. I know it. Goombaria. Hi there, Mario. Are you eating regularly? You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. The cookbook you gave me really comes in handy. I already know a lot of recipes, but without this book, I can cook a world of new dishes. I want to tell you about the latest dish I've been cooking. It's unique. It takes a fire flower and an egg to fix it. When I first made it, it blew me away. Literally. I might help you on your adventures. Please come visit and bring those ingredients. Tasty. Yes, I do know of that uh, food. Item uh, she's made. Hey, big guy. How are you doing? Ralph, I'm in the bed shop here. Thanks a bunch for shopping at my place. You're a cool customer. To show my gratitude, I'll be waiting for you with all my stock 0% off. Alright. Let's go 
back to town. So a few years ago, I had I sent Nintendo a letter with little details of some video game ideas I had. Hey, Jack Quizmo! Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite Quizmer, Quizmaster, Chuck Quizmo! W wanna try the quiz? Now let's get on. Now let's get to the question! Question! How many windows does the Goomba house in Goomba Village have? Two? Oh shoot! I got a question wrong! Uh, better luck next time! So long, farewell, till we meet again! I don't pay attention to the windows! It was one, wasn't it? So, so anyways, about the, about those ideas I had. Or nothing, FP points, first attack. Uh, those ideas were two Paper Mario games. This was before, uh, this was way before Sticker Star was um, ever announced. Hey, got a few letters. Uh, sorry, I'll... I'll uh, get to my I'll get to my story in, uh, after these. From Goompa. Here you go. Dear Goombario, I go see adventure with Mario. Is it fun? Are you being a brave Goomba? That's oxymoronic. Remember to relish your time out in the wide world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish to the stars that your adventure will prove to be f a fruitful one. If you can, drop in on us, old folks, now and again. Guma misses you terribly. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown-up, Goomba. Oh, I did the wrong voice for him. Would you like to read more? Uh, let's go with Cooper. From Coover. Dear Cooper. I goes the inventor. I can't believe you're hanging out with Mario. I'm so jealous. Koopa Village is the same. Colorado's wife is impatiently awaiting Colorado's return. You and Colorado, you guys have so much excitement in your lives. You're so lucky. Anyway, good luck, buddy. Cooper of Koopa Village. Uh, Paracary. From Frost Tea. Dear Paracary, thank you for always delivering my mail despite snow and ice. Because I live in this cold valley so far from my family, the letters I receive are my greatest pleasure in life. Kind words from my wife and daughter give me the strength to continue my work. My heart leaps with joy every time I hear the sound of your wings. May you never molt. Another one? Come on, man! First it was Wacka. Now it's frost tea. Who's next? And now we have one from from Bo. Now we have one for Bo from the Boos. Dear Lady Bo, thank you for rescuing us from the horrible Tubble Blubba up on Gusty Gulch. We never dreamed we'd meet a Boo of your stature. The sight of you alone would would have been enough to keep us going, but you went ahead and defeated Tavo Bubba too. We thought that our friends were done for when they were eaten, but they've all returned. Many thanks. When you're done with your quest, we're throwing you a party. A Mario party? Please come. 
Oh, and please say hi to everyone at Boo's Mansion. Boo's in Gusty Gulch. You can just float there in ten seconds! Okay, so... So, a few years ago, back in around 2012, this, this is way before Sticker Star was, was ever a thing, actually. I had, I sent Nintendo a letter in some details of three games I had ideas for. They were two Paper Mario games, and they were, um, and they were a Zelda game. The Paper Mario games w were called um, Origami Compass and, and Rainbow Canvas. The idea of, of Origami Compass was that um, oh, I forgot I got this one. Uh, were that it, a compass was was destroyed into eight different sections, and and they they were yeah a a compass was de, was destroyed into eight different pieces that were set off into eight different directions, and so. And so, what what Mario would need to do would would be that he would uh, go to all corners of, of the map and, and collect all all pieces of, of the compass. And and when he would get all the pieces, they would all fold together like like an origami piece, and they would make a compass that. That, that would point north or 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 something and that it would point to the next and like each piece of the compass would, would point to the next one and when all came together um, all it would lead to is it would lead to a special treasure. And and for and for then he would have partners of um uh what do I call it he would have partners some similar to similar to these guys like like instead of a bob on he would have a chain chomp. Instead of instead of a Koopa, he would have a he would have a bullet bill. Instead of Goom, instead of a Goomba, he would have a piranha plant. Instead of a Koopa Troopa, he, he he'd have a shy guy. And like they would all have their own various effects a, as well. Hey. Hmm? Who am I, you say? We know who you are. Why is this conversation t even taking place? Well, for one, I'm traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you see. Think now, Colorado. Head across the sea. Well, well, we have this guy. So, for um, Rainbow Canvas, uh, it it was like this, and and this was 
years before Color Splash w w was was a thing. It was that um the the evil the evil grayon in 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 the in the Grayola kingdom has has taken all the color out of the world and making it black and white. Mario would have to go through the kingdom bring and bringing bringing color back. So like there would be like red paint for his health, blue paint for his for his defense and like and like throughout he can he can paint, he can erase, he he can draw stuff and just similar ideas for that. Oh good heavens, I was wondering what that was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Ugh. I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. And I have problems. It feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Ow, ow, ow. Help me. Hmm, I say, old boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a belly ache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Uh, I told you, I'm, a, I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. You think you, you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. This next part, you need what? What? Who that? What do you think you're doing with that light? And yes, we have a fight with this person. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ordinary as all get out. Prepare for some pain. And if we try to use Gumbario, we can't do anything. Yeah, sure. Fuzzipede is the name. And like, as for... Uh... My... My Zelda game idea... It, this game was called Darkness Trident, and it was, and it was based on on Ganondorf getting, well, getting his getting his trident. Ah, shucks. First, I think I'll, I, I, I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish, and then this fella with with a mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pan since, into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me. You know. The whale? Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Whoosh! And Whalmer used water step. Hey, it's you, boy. You're that dumb old fish that, that ate me all up and such. For the last time, he's not a fish. You plum idiot. He's not a plum either. You know, I thought it was I, I thought it was a Connor for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. 
Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time, but you just watch it. Er, I reckon I owe you some things after all, Mr. Mu Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. Whew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I got it. I, the tutor, am... I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. Yes, yeah, sorry for eavesdropping. Colorado. What a trip it'll be. The island will be wonderful. You must trust my instincts. Yeah, like I trusted your instincts for the ruins. Mario, um... I think the star kid said a star spirit was... Um... Caught on the big lava lava island? Um... We should go. Big whale... Give us a ride. Whee! See, one has it right. Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course, I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. And I'm ready to go. So, yes, we are going to be starting the next chapter very soon. We're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on the tuna, Mario. You... He's a whale. Jeez. The baby knows it's a whale. So yeah, those two uh, Paper Mario games and that Zelda game were just were the sort of game ideas I had that I sent to Nintendo. Anyways, Chapter 6, Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. And they did send a letter back to me, but saying we are not accepting, like, requests at this time or something. If I can, if I can find that, if I can find that message again, I would, I would put it on screen. If you want me to take you back to Toe Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! Gracious! You old Mario! There! Off in the distance! The top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! You must hurry! Make haste! Uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a second. But first, we got the stopwatch. If it works, it'll stun enemies for a time. And... And we have these fans. Literally. So you just hold your Z button, or whatever you have mapped as your Z button. Yarg! Help, I say! Help! You know what? I'm gonna get the letter, and then I'm going to put on the Zap Tap badge. Uh, what to get rid of, what to get rid of. Uh, you and you. Um, okay. Why was it? Simply because...
I hate these guys. Jungle Fuzzy. This is a Jungle Fuzzy. Jungle Fuzzies are very similar to other Fuzzies, but they live in the jungle, so that's their name. They cling to you, suck out your HP, and add it to their own. What a sleazy move! They won't stop clicking to you unless you tear them off with the action command. They also occasionally defy it, so let's beat them before they get the chance. And they're already? Really? You're you're already separating? There's only one real way to to deal with this. Well, I'm sure there are other ways, but Oh, come on. You jerk. Maybe they're just star storms? I don't know. Ha ha ha! Take that, ugly! Phew! You saved me! Many thanks, old chum! Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and press on, let's say. And if I remember correctly, th there's uh, another thing that happens. We got a coconut. Got some bells. Now... There's at least something more here, isn't there? Or is that it? Just the letter. I'm gonna go with just the letter. And we have Yoshi's. We finally made it to Yoshi Village. You know, it's too bad it's not Thousand Year Door. Hey, what do we have here? Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop in the chat, but I have my fins for it. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can prove it yet, but I put them planning something. Well, if you think they can fool Sushi, they better think and gun. Actually... Hey, uh, Red Yoshi. Oh, it's Mario. Hey, Mario. Are you looking for an adventure? If you want, we'll go with you. You won't have to worry at all, but here's some fire's got your back. Let's go to the jungle. We're not scared, we just can't ever go because of the old some old cheap cheap stop for us. We're in Yoshi Jet. Ah, you must be the one. Thanks, I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made up a new game. I've got to play this later. He also wants me to come over to his town and play the game sometime, but. How can I get there? Oh well, maybe someday I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's real funny, because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Here, here, will you help? Deliver my letter to the toad kid who... who... Well... And let's check the spring. Car? Oracle of the Stars, Mario comes to this island. Mario is ready to meet Master Raphael the Raven. Car? Car? Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? Car? 
Oh, well, let's see what else there is. So we got a bed, a store. And... Yarg! Yeah. Oh! Help! And... Sure. Yeah, Paddle Spear Guy. This is a Spear Guys. Spear Guys are relatives of Shy Guys who live in the jungle. You'll get hurt if you attack with the hammer while they're pointing their spear at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them with their spears pointing upward. Pay attention to the position of their spears. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call in reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they they become ordinary shy guys. I'm I'm near bed anyways. I'll I can I can waste the magic. You saved me once more. You're top notch, Mario. Now, I can feel that our destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? Ah, Mario. Have a look at this. Looks like the entrance to the volcano. Hey, old boy. Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures that I'm looking for. I know it. This is the secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky look at it. Hmm? But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Hey, there's something. Oh, the jam and jelly! Uh, yeah. Stop it! Oh, you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? And any rich. Let's move on. Hmm? Why, you little... Uh-oh. What's going on here? Hey, Chief. Oh, such a fortune. The children are missing. You seem to have secretly slipped off to the jungle. You don't know it's dangerous. We must get them back here to safety. Mario, could I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis are in my village are panicking. They are thinking this place. I'll try to calm them down. You just find those kids. And I'll look for those kids. After I nap. And that is going to be it for now. Next time, we will look for the Yoshi kids. If you subscribe to Sunshine, then you will have Sunshine all the time. See you soon.